Hey guys, thanks for stopping in today. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the monarch butterfly. I'm gonna teach you how to identify the eggs, care for the caterpillars, feed the butterflies, and we're gonna also release them. You ready? Here we go. This is milkweed. This is a plant that the monarch butterfly absolutely loves. The caterpillars eat this milkweed, as you can see, and the monarch butterfly actually lays their eggs on this. So this is a host plant for the monarch butterfly. It will go through its entire cycle on this one plant. So I encourage every gardener to plant this beautiful plant called milkweed in their garden, and they will be inviting this beautiful monarch butterfly to come look at that what are the chances of that wow this is exactly what i'm talking about there is the monarch butterfly egg the underside of the milkweed leaf. There it is. So this is them in a very tiny stage. They're very young. This will give you an idea. I've my thumb so it's important to keep their their little environment very clean they eat a lot they grow very quickly they eat and poop a lot as you can see here so every single day gotta clean this out they have food all the time I want them to run out of food so that's some fresh milkweed I put in there and as I you can see what I did was is I moistened the, the towel, the paper towel that's on the bottom, and I kind of tuck the bottom of the, le the leaves inside where it's wet to kind of make it last a little bit longer, keep it as fresh as possible. extremely important that you do not touch the butterfly when it comes out of its cocoon because it needs to let its wings dry and form properly. So they'll hang upside down and let their wings dry. So do not touch them. So I do three teaspoons of water to half of a teaspoon of natural honey. We actually use a local honey producer. They save the bees. And then I just basically keep stirring. It takes a few minutes because you really want this honey to dissolve completely. So 
So you're gonna need a toothpick, a little bottle cap, a little plastic, I do like a water bottle cap. And this is actually the sugar water to feed the butterflies before they're released. Alrighty, so it's super important that your hands are very clean. Okay, I always, always wash my hands before dealing with the, the caterpillars or the butterflies. All right, so I'm gonna feed him. So what I wanna do is I wanna grab his wings. You gotta be patient. Don't try to rush the process. So I'm gonna gently grab onto his wings and I'm gonna gently pull him away because he will be holding on tight. Now he's gonna scramble, that's very natural. He's freaking out a little bit. There we go, take the little toothpick and gently unravel his tongue and put it in the sugar water. Butterflies, you want to be really gentle. You want to make sure your hands are clean. You don't want any sticky substance when you're going to touch their wings or the caterpillar at all. I try not to touch the caterpillar at all if possible. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping in today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, you learned something today, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel and share this with a friend. Have a blessed day. See you next time.